Hey guys, it's Delight. I have two new beanie patterns to share with you. Maybe you want to see it right side up. Uh, but first, let me explain what is going on here. I just went for a walk with my dog at Brewery Flats here in Lewistown, which is beautiful. I'll put a little clip of our walk up here. And if you like this kind of stuff and you want to see like pretty nature in Montana plus crochet stuff, you can follow me on Instagram over at Crochet with Delight. Uh, I'm getting into Insta stories and I'm enjoying sharing these little snippets. And I just think Montana is so amazing. I moved back. If you don't know, I moved, I'm moved. i from here originally. I moved back a, about a year ago. But last fall, I was remodeling this house. So I was so busy. I didn't really have time to enjoy the weather and the nature. And today was sunny. It was about 50 degrees, which was like good and warm. Although you can see, I don't like being cold. So I wear a lot of layers, but I just decided to go for it and make this video with my walk clothes on. And this is like last night's braid in my hair <laughs> um, because I felt inspired. And if I try to go take a shower and like do my hair all nice and then come back, I'm not going to have energy to talk about my beanies right now. So that's why <laughs> I am wearing this. Uh, and I feel like just do it. Just act confident and talk. And I think that's more important. Done is better than perfect. That is what is happening here with what I'm wearing today. Okay, so let's talk about these beanies. And at the end, too, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of what I'm hooking now because these are done. It's always like on to the next thing, you know. Uh, so these patterns are available, available now in my shop on Etsy. Uh, so this one, let's start with this. This is called the Bridger Beanie. Oh, by the way, I started naming my beanie designs after places in Montana that I just like the sound of. So you can see this beanie, I'd say this is not like a beginner beginner project. This is not for your first beanie because there are like four different stitches in it. Up here we have seed stitch, which is just alternating double crochet and single crochet which sounds easy, but it's in the round. It's like, it's kind of hard to count after a while. And I always have to like turn off the TV and just like focus. <laughs> I can't like think while I'm making, while I'm making it, you know, increasing it to here. And then once it's like done increasing, then I can go ahead and listen to a podcast or TV or whatever. Um, so that's what this is, a seed stitch and seed stitches here and here. And then it goes into back post double crochet to make this ridge and then some more of that here. And then down here at the bottom, we have alternating front post, back post, double crochet. And it's just occurring to me that maybe like people won't buy my pattern <laughs> if I go tell them what's already in here. But you can support me if you want and go buy it. Uh, you know, it, obviously it gives you all of the specific numbers and how many rounds to do and all that stuff. Like for me, <laughs> I would just watch this video and probably go make it myself. But if you want the pattern, you can get it. Actually, um, the, I have these two beanies available right now as a bundle. I don't have just this one by itself as of right now, but I will have it. I will have both of them separately, but you'll get a little discount if you buy them together. So. It's always nice. Um, yeah, so this is the Bridger Beanie. I could tell you that I have made four of these to try to, oops, that's not one of those, that's a different one. Um, where's the black one? I made four of these to try to get the size right. And I finally, actually this one is extra large, but it's um, the bigger one of these gray. So these two gray ones, were just like one round off of each other and it's the bigger one finally this is the size oop so that's the back here's the front so this is the size uh, that i finally landed on to put in the official pattern i made my brother try it on my brother has like the normal like me average men's size head and when uh when he fits my beanies and i'm like okay it's perfect so actually this one this extra large one wasn't too big for him either. So I kind of could have stuck with this, but it's always nice if it's a little bit smaller and you don't have to do quite so many stitches to make it happen. So anyway, I made several iterations of that to try to get it right. So that is the Bridger Beanie. It's really fun. It's good if you want to challenge yourself a little bit. Like if you've already nailed, like this one I'm wearing here is just like a basic beanie with um, 
single crochets and chunky yarn. And if you if you've done that and you're ready for the next type of beanie and you want to play around with like some interesting textures and stuff like that, I recommend this. It's going to be fun for you to play around with like the back post double crochet and all that kind of stuff. So same thing here. This one is called the Pondere beanie and it looks like Pondera the way it's spelled, but that's how you say it. Um, and I just love the little pom pom makes me so happy. So this is in a men's size as well. And I only actually made one of these. I kind of was nailed it and I was happy with it the first time around. So, um, this is seed stitch as well. And then we go down to back post, front post, double crochet. So it's similar to this, but it's just a little bit um, different. And it's gonna fit, this one is gonna fit tight to the head, like mine I'm wearing now. And this one is gonna fit slouchy. So it's gonna fit like with a little bit of bagginess <laughs> back here on the back of the head. I think that looks better with a pom-pom. I don't like it when the beanies are really tight and there's a pom-pom like right here. So this one is a little bit longer and bigger dimensions. Uh, yeah, what else can I tell you? Oh, I was gonna tell you about this. So this pom-pom, best thing ever, this clover pom-pom maker. These pom-poms are so perfect. I love it. It's, it is so fun to use these things. So this is not like a, sponsor or anything. I'm just saying like, this is, this is fun stuff. So if you like making pom-poms and who doesn't, <laughs> um, they're not, I don't remember. I bought this quite a while ago. I, it came in a package of two and it was like, I don't know, not expensive. So it's worth it. Um, it just makes the pom-pom really, uh, like I didn't have to trim it. If you've ever made a pom-pom with like just wrapping yarn on your hands or around like a cardboard or something. That's how I used to make them. And it would take so much trimming around the edges and it made this huge mess to get it to look like this, like uniform without a whole bunch of stragglers and random little bits hanging off. So, oh, this one has like one, if you can see that, this little piece, now I'm looking at it. If I wanted to be picky, I could trim that off. But like without, the, without this pom-pom maker, the whole thing, looks like that and you just have to trim and make a mess and you can totally do it but like pom-pom maker super fun um i just love it uh so yeah so this is the again this is the bridger beanie and this is the pondere oops i didn't get that end woven <laughs> this is the pondere beanie and i have them right now both of these since they both have seed stitch but they're a little bit different from each other I have both of these in a bundle. It's called Men's Seed Stitch Beanie Crochet Pattern Bundle, and it's in my shop now. You do get 25% off, I think, if I did my math right. I think you get 25% off if you buy these together versus each individually. So I'll put that link down below, and if you like this, you can check this out. Uh, make a little bit different style of beanie for the guy in your life. Oh boy, that just look. I really should have taken care of that, but you know, when it, I'm going to do it before I give it to anybody, but when it's just for photos and talking about it in theory, I get lazy about weaving in the ends. That's just being real. So thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed this little catch up on what I'm doing. Oh wait, I almost forgot. I said I was going to show you what I'm hooking now, what I'm hooking today. I started this last night. I've had this vision in my mind for weeks now. Uh, which is really fun when you finally get to like make it. So I did a yarn unboxing and I got all these three colors are actually still here on my shelf because uh, I got so much. And uh, I was just feeling like I want to see how they look together. And so I'm making, it's going to look like this. Um, it's going to be more like this size, going to be more like a slouchy fit than a tight fit. And I'm going to put a pom-pom. I'm gonna, so just imagine the little pom-pom. I think it's gonna be, probably gonna be green to match the stripe. Um, but I'm also going to make a fold up brim on the bottom. So I'm almost done. Like this is how, probably how big it's gonna be. And then I have to uh, make the brim to fold up. So it's gonna be super fun. And this this pattern will be available when it's done. 
and it's going to be a part of a secret project that I have coming up that's new for my business. So I'm excited to get it done, take some nice pictures, put it out there and see if you guys like it. So yeah, that's what I'm hooking today. And again, we talked about Instagram. I would love to see what you're hooking today. So uh, go follow me over there, comment on my stuff so I know who you are and I can take a look at your photos and your projects because it's super fun to share. Uh, what we're crocheting. So uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one.